Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what eslecarbazepine acetate is, the history of eslecarbazepine acetate, how eslecarbazepine acetate works, side effects, and risks. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. According to PubChem, eslecarbazepine acetate is an anticonvulsant medication used as an injunctive therapy for partial onset seizures that are not controlled with conventional therapy. Eslecarbazepine acetate is also known as Sebenix and Actium. Eslecarbazepine acetate was approved as an anti-epileptic drug in Europe in 2009 and in the United States in 2013. Eslecarbazepine is a member of the dibenzoazepine, carboxamide family, like carbamazepine and oxcarbazepine. However, its structural distinction is different. The result is a more effective, less toxic, and more efficient crossing of the blood-brain barrier. Eslecarbazepine acetate is converted into eslecarbazepine, which inhibits repeated neuronal firing and stabilizing the inactivated stage of voltage-gated sodium channels, preventing them to return to activated state. Side effects may include dizziness, difficulty with balance, fast, repeated eye movements that you cannot control, excessive tiredness, sleepiness, weakness, forgetfulness from memory loss, difficulty concentrating, slow thinking or movement, speech problems, shakiness, uncontrollable shaking of a part of the body, nausea or vomiting, constipation or stomach pain. Call your doctor immediately if you experience the following. Infections that come and go or do not go away, fever, blisters or rash, swollen glands, sores in the mouth or around the eyes, hives, swelling of eyes, face, lips, tongue, mouth or throat, hoarseness, difficulty breathing or swallowing, increase in seizures, headache or confusion, irritability, muscle weakness or spasms, unusual bleeding or bruising, yellowing of the skin or eyes, loss of appetite, pain in the upper right part of the stomach, or blurred or double vision. According to Mayo Clinic, use with caution or avoid using if you have the following. A history of depression, hyponatremia, or low sodium in the blood, History of mental illness can make the condition worse. Kidney disease, used with caution. Effects may be increased due to slower removal of medication from the body. Liver disease, use is not recommended. In conclusion, eslecarbazepine acetate is an anticonvulsant medication used as an injunctive therapy for partial onset seizures that are not controlled with conventional therapy. Eslecarbazepine acetate inhibits repeated neuronal firing and stabilizing the inactivated stage of voltage-gated sodium channels, preventing them to return to activated state. There are many side effects. Contact your doctor if you experience anything negative. Consult with your doctor before making any changes to your treatment plan. To learn more about eslecarbazepine acetate, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. 
leave a comment below, or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support, and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.